So before heart node pathology was described, the whole brain would be taken out. The whole brain would be fixed like the one you show, I show you before, right? Mm -hmm. And the entire brain would be studied for the neuropathological examination. So we needed to accumulate enough experience to know that in neurodegenerative disease, what happened in one half of the brain does occur in the other half, unless proven otherwise, right? Mm -hmm. brain comes, we have to decide which half is used for research and which half for diagnosis. Therefore, we cannot, we cannot prepare the entire brain for research. For each brain, everything is ready in advance, right? And we dissect the brain, coronal section, and all the coronal slices are put here, and we dissect. Mm -hmm. And each block are taken according to that Boardman map, for example, BA10, BA4 would be here, BA6, you know, BA17, BA18. We use a tank, we fill every day with liquid nitrogen, and after it's released as a vapor, after when it's frozen five minutes later, it's transferred into with a barcode into the bag, put in minus 80 freezer. And we have about 160,000 samples now in the freezer, and the way we organize the freezer is to distribute according to the region. For this one, we took 70, 85 samples, 46 blocks and 39 vials. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So now we go here. You see? Freezer 1, shell 2, rack 2, color. Yeah. And here you have the, the hippocampus. You see? SBB. Yeah. The other half is fixed and used for the neuropathological examination. This is from the half that we use for the diagnosis. And we cut very thin, you see about 3 mm thin to make sure to assess every part of it. Now here you have the amygdala and the head of the hippocampus. This is an area of high vulnerability in Alzheimer's disease. So basically that you will have neuronal loss neurofibrillary tangles of Alzheimer, neuritic plaque, uh, astrocytosis. Between the cortex and white matter, you have a sharp demarcation. The neurons, which give the, mainly the gray part, myelin, which give the white aspect for it. If you look here, there is blur demarcation. You don't see the gray white, it's all gray. That means all the neurons are gone, replaced by astrocytes, right? And this is the part from the fixed half that was taken for the neuropathological examination. This is the antibody against the abnormal tau. This is the antibody against amyloid. For plaque and tangles, we will use this one and this one. And this is the plaque using now the antibody against amyloid. And if you notice, we have two types of amyloid here. You have the aggregate, the plaques, right? And in addition, you see the amyloid in the wall of the blood vessels. So this patient has both parenchymal amyloid and vascular amyloid. This is now use an antibody against the abnormal tau. Tau is a protein uh, that plays a role in the skeleton of the, of the neurons. And uh, all the dark brown discoloration here illustrate what is abnormal and to have the neurofibrillary tangles of Alzheimer, the neurons that are involved. And in between you have the negative neurons that are normal, apparently normal. I believe that we will be able to slow down the course of the disease sufficiently to protect the quality of life up to the end, right? Yeah. Sure, I think it's, it's, very, it's very ambitious, at least with what we know today.